Yo, time for some actual electrical content. I'm changing my content style a little bit. So here's what you need to know. First of all, we're going to build a PLC test rig, competitively priced, so that you can learn to program PLCs too. I can't program PLCs. I'm a learn as well. It's good that I'm doing it. Because I don't know what I'm doing, you don't know what you're doing, I'll find out what I'm doing and tell you. It's a fucking guaranteed working system. So this is part one, the introduction to the PLC test rig. The why, the what, that fucking beat, man, hang on. There's fucking loads of sparkies about. There's loads of wank sparkies about, yeah? House bashing sparkies are fucking ten a penny. So if you want to be an electrician, electrical engineer as I would call it, yeah? Get with a fucking winning team. Stop learning to be house bashers like all the social media and the advertising trying to come to the time to you. Because it's just an oversaturated, packed out market in a race to the bottom, cascading down to a ball of flames ASAP, yeah? If you're going to become an electrician, don't be a five day wonder spark. Try and become an electrical engineer, right? Who knows what to do with engineering. So you apply the principles wherever you go. So you go to house, you apply those principles. You go to an industrial site, you apply those principles. You work on controls, you apply those principles. So that could be a switch. The switch can switch on a light in a house, or it could switch on a pump in a factory, or it could switch on, I don't know, a fucking extra machine in a hospital. Just apply the principles wherever you go. I I'm repeating myself now for the purpose of this video to get across here, but loads of people ask me this simple question. How do I do what you do? And they know what they're asking me. They're asking me because they see me fucking around on the internet, not doing a lot of work. Maybe spending three or four days at work, two, one, less than that, and I earned decent money and I've had a good career. Well, what I did 20 years ago is not what you're going to do now. But what I would advise is if there's one thing you could get into, if you're good at maths, if you're not good at maths, just fuck off now because this is not for you, yeah? Although you could do what I do because I do the part, I do this bit whilst being at bad at maths because I don't program, which is what we're going to learn. I've lost my train of thought now. I shouldn't go off on tangents like this. It's ridiculous. Anyway, everything's controlled by controllers. You've got your PLCs, Arduinos, smart relays, all that shit, yeah? If you could code and be an electrician as well, there's, there's gaps in the market there for these kind of people. So here's what we're going to do, yeah? We're going to build a PLC test rig. I appreciate that's backwards for Instagram. I don't care watching YouTube, yeah? The budget, because... We have to ask ourselves, how much are you willing to invest in your future? So if the fact that I'm going to charge, or my aim, my aim's 250 quid. So send me 250, not really, not really. Uh, my aim's 250 quid. If you don't want to spend 250 quid on possibly finding something that might do you well in the future, then just leave now because you're wasting your time. And if you've got that attitude, you're a fucking loser who will never amount to much. I know we don't talk to you like that at school, little munchkin, but you're a dickhead. So just in case you're struggling, you know, because you're a bit thick, we're going to build a PLC test rig that's to a reasonable standard that you can learn on and interact with in a fun and meaningful way on your own, in your bedroom, save, you, save a bit of time when you're touching yourself. And we're going to try and do it. I'm going to try and do it for 250 quid. And I'm going to scrap out all the bullshit by doing all the bullshit for you, by telling you we can get things, what to buy, we can get some, you know, software, and we can get a PLC and all that. 250 quid it's not a bad amount of money to invest in your future. I randomly invest more money than that regularly on getting new business. Like, for example, this YouTube channel, which costs thousands and thousands of pounds to make every year, of which I'm sponsored for, um, let me just think about it, it's, uh, oh, fucking nothing. But I get work off it. And I'm going to show you why I get work off it now. I'm going to show you what we're going to learn. It's not about spending money. It's about this that I'm going to show you next. Knowledge. Knowledge, that's when you know stuff. Yeah, experience. That's when you've done stuff respect that's how you get works if people don't respect you they think you're a fucking sausage and won't give you any work whatsoever and skills you need all four to make the fucking wheels go round yeah so you need the skills to do the job because if you cack hand with a screwdriver you're never going to earn any money yeah if people don't respect you they won't employ you because they think you're a cock people think i'm a cock but they still respect me it, they're not they're not they're not they're not linked yeah experience which is where you make your fucking coin and knowledge which is knowing things yeah, knowledge and experience are interchangeable. As far as I'm saying, different things. This sounds like a business course, not a PLC course. Don't worry, I'm getting there. Right, some of these you can't buy. So if you ask, if it's on the question, how do I do what you do? Yeah, you can buy knowledge. You can pay to go on a course and you can buy knowledge. You can buy a book, you can buy knowledge. You've got to learn it, but you can buy knowledge. You can go on a course and do it 
and you'll probably pick something up, you'll retain about 50% of the information you find in the course. Look at the learning pyramid. And you can buy knowledge. So you can buy knowledge, great, go and spend some money on knowledge. Here's some of your money being spent on knowledge. That's what you're gonna buy when you spend the three, 250 quid on this gubbins that I'm gonna show you. Over 250 quid-ish, depending on what you've got. So knowledge can be bought. There you go, no problemo. Let's look at the other ones. Skills. You can buy skills. Yeah, you could go on a course and learn skills. However, you can't just buy them with money. You will need some money, maybe. You can buy skills, there's skills, I'll draw on it again, and you can buy them with money. You can definitely buy skills, right? You can go to a place where we'll teach you to do certain things. Like I know, I've been on a cable joining course once, they taught me how to do it, I paid and I learnt the skill. However, it's not just a money thing, you've got to invest in that, so you invest your money and you invest your time to get those. So on that one, it's money and time, that's what you've got to spunk into it, yeah, to get the skills. Unless you're inept, like some of my mates, like Johnny Pitchfork, we know. Yeah, he's inept at learning practical skills. He will never be able to put a shelf or use a raw plug. He needs to stop in an office. Sorry, Johnny, it's just the way it is. Um, but some people have got the time and the money to spend getting the skills and they can get the skills. Some people can't get skills that are practical, so you should just stick to pushing Pendran. Sorry, that's just how it is. Again, we don't take that to school today, but that's the fact. That leaves two. That leaves respect and experience, yeah? To do the work, you need people to respect you and what you do and like using you and you need to have the experience, yeah? Neither of these can be bought for money. They can only be gained with time. You can earn respect. You can stand on your tripod. You can earn respect. You can earn experience, but you can't buy it. It's not possible to purchase a predetermined measure of respect or experience. You need to invest your time in it. So that's what we're going to do to get one to get the experiences. We're going to invest some time in ourselves, and we're going to invest some time in some stuff over here to build a test rig for PLC. So that if you go for a job and you're into this kind of stuff, or you want to move into this kind of trade, you can show that person who's sat in the chair in front of you. All right, so you want to be a PLC engineer? You want to work for us to be a trainee PLC engineer? Yeah, what have you done? I nothing. I've sat my ass. You don't even watch the YouTube videos. I actually made myself a PLC test rig. Right, so if you don't want to spend £250-ish of your money and you don't want to spend a thousand, a thousand, a hundred plus hours doing and learning this, this is not the video series for you, yeah? This is going to be a series. Um, so if you don't want to spend 250 quid, you don't want to learn PLCs and you don't want to spend a hundred plus hours of your own time learning it or maybe the rest of your entire career, then don't worry about this series. Still watch all my other videos. Uh, but don't watch this one because that's what's going to be about. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm spunking 250 quid on the test gear and the make, to make the test rig. I'm going to spunk over 100 hours of my time, possibly learning just to program basic PLC code. That's what I'm going to do. So that's the introduction to this, what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Notice that here, I'm not asking you for any money. You don't have to give me any money. Uh, there's no like weekly fee. I'm not a hard sell you or call you up like certain control people do. Yeah. Be aware of those courses. They are trying to sell you bullshit, yeah? This is me gratis. I've never done this before, and I w I'm not asking for anyone who ain't got any money to think about it. If you do want to support this series, yeah, you could become a member of this YouTube channel, right, if you want to. Notice that here, I'm not asking you for any money. Because this has set me back about 300 quid so far, uh, and I won't get any of that money back. All I get is a bit of respect, right, which is worth that, but you know what I mean? But if you do want to support this, this, this going on, you can hand me cash at any trade show you see me at. Uh, I accept alcohol and gifts of electrical things shown on the channel. But yeah, if you can support the channel in any way, financially, or with stuff to show on the channel, that helps the fucking cogs go around. So yeah, never said it before, but I will say this video because I've just spunked a large amount of money on doing this. Right, anyway, let's go and get to the actual... Fucking stop turning on the tripod. Let's go and get to the actual bit we're dealing with. I almost missed this bit out. Just to let you know, yeah, this is like a collective effort, although I'm presenting this and doing this bit... There's been a lot of uh, help in the background from the ESK controls chat, the Elite Sparking Crew controls chat, which is a WhatsApp chat group. Now, if you want to come and join the ESK controls chat, we won't mind, but all I ask is if the big boys are talking about big boy stuff, sit there and watch it. If you want to ask a question, though, you can ask. There's plenty of people in there that will give you a dig out and help you out, especially if you follow the, 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 the PLC test rig I'm building in sort of the way I'm building it, because... We're going to all be using sort of the same software and the same bits and bobs, but we'll have different rigs. But 
Yeah, in the background, already to get to this stage, a load of people in the SK chat have helped me out. The Dazzers, the Alistairs, the Sudger Control Systems who gets regular advertising on this channel because I think he's the best PLC program engineer in the whole of Birmingham town centre. It's a little market time for it. So yeah, so they're all pumping around the background and I'll continue to get up in the background off them on this little project. So here we go. That'll be it for part one. But what I'll do now is in part two, I'll go over here and I'll show you what junk I've been buying off AliExpress for the past two weeks. As usual, here's the chapter list. And uh, my reminder that this video is my own experience of using PLCs in my machines. Uh, I'm not a PLC expert. Mm -hmm.